Okay guys, so next up we're going to go ahead and get our graphics card installed. So we've got our GTX 670 DirectCU mini graphics card. Uh, just for a quick point of identification for you guys, this is right here, the physical by 16 uh, PCI Express connection point. And that, that would go ahead and install in any one of these longest PCIe slots. Ideally, we want to go ahead and use the top slot because that's going to be for one, a native slot, which means it gets the PCI lanes directly from the CPU giving us the best performance, lowest latency, and overall the best throughput. And uh, that would also operate fully at by 16. Uh, now, you're going to see that when we install it, you're going to see these two uh, protective covers. Those are going to be for users uh, that are utilizing SLI or multi-GPU configurations. If you're not using two GPUs, don't worry about them and leave them there. Allow them to protect to go ahead uh, those SLI connection points. So let's go ahead and get this card installed. It slid in there. You're going to hear the uh, retention clip lock into place. We're pretty much good to go. So at that point, we just need to go ahead and screw in uh, the graphics card and lock it into place. So once again, don't need to over torque the card. Let's go ahead and get this set here. Okay guys, now that we've successfully installed the graphics card, we pretty much just need to complete uh, that installation by taking our PCIe power and making a connection. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, take this guy, create it into a four pin, snap it into place, and we're going to pull the cable back through a bit. Now it's up to you if you want to go ahead and maybe pull these guys together and uh, keep it tight like that. Maybe try to give yourself a little bit somewhat of an aesthetic. It's kind of up to you in terms of how you want to handle that. But uh, that pretty much completes uh, our installation of a graphics card.